James Hardy fires hundreds. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your Stein of coffee because I want to have a look at this article from the Fin Review talking about a business I'm sure we are all familiar with and all of us that work in the construction industry would have specified or bought or used or installed many times, probably even in the last year. Well, James Hardy, they're predicting bad times ahead and they're slashing hundreds of jobs just before Christmas. So I think this this is the type of stuff we should pay attention to. I know there's things doing the rounds from BlackRock making predictions and all of this stuff, but here you have a real business that creates real things that sells stuff that real people use to build things that's cutting hundreds of jobs. And you may hear I've got a little Valeria uh, with me tonight. So... James Hardy Industries is cutting hundreds of jobs globally and making workers redundant before Christmas as the building materials maker struggles with what it claims is a perfect storm of falling demand and soaring costs. The AFR weekend understands around 100 jobs will be cut in the Asia-Pacific region, mostly in Australia, with employees receiving redundancy notices before Christmas. Now, that has to be... Tough. Hang on, I've got to get this little girl here. Come here. Come here. You can record with me, okay? You, you can record with me, okay? Hundreds of jobs, or a hundred jobs, in Asia, Pacific, and Australia, getting redundancy before Christmas. That isn't going to be fun, is it? It's not going to be fun. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't touch that. No, 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 you leave that alone. Leave that alone. Ah, <laughs> uh, never work with children. The job losses which come as Australian executives warn of an economic slowdown or possible recession in 2023, are believed to to be in the hundreds across James Hardy's operations in the US, Europe, and Asia. The company, which makes a composite material known as fiber cement that, used to cl- that is used to cloud homes, they make a lot more than that, than just fiber. Okay, I guess they, they make it in a whole series of different things, but... I mean, we've spessed them on the school job. I mean, there's everything. They, they make a whole lot of great products. You know, a James Har- Hardy spokesman confirmed all regions had been affected. Okay, you want to get down? Okay. As we, as we discussed on our second quarter results call, we were expecting all three regions we operate in, North America, Asia Pacific, and Europe, to experience housing market slowdowns in calendar 2023, the spokesman said. As such, we have taken the difficult decision to adjust our cost base to better align with market conditions. In the redundancy letter to an employee in Australia, seen by AFR, James Hardy said a business restructure and headcount reductions were needed to control future costs. This is the thing, guys. While you're working for any of these businesses, it may sound good, there may be a good brand, Remember, they're not your family. It's a business relationship. All that bullshit on LinkedIn about family, you know, we care for each other. I love my work, uh, husband or wife. It's, it's bullshit, okay? It doesn't mean anything. It can't, it's business relationship. It's this little little angel here that's like destroying all my stuff. Wait, oh, she's got a razor blade. How does she find this stuff in my office? You, you get a kid just going around, they find everything. <laughs> she's fine though. She's got the keys. That's family, okay? Business is business. You've got to treat it like that. And it's sad seeing people not preparing for it, putting all the eggs in one basket. The company said it was experiencing a cyclical downturn in 2023, driven by macroeconomic uncertainty, aggressive inflation growth, and rapidly rising interest rates. So we could, could we see a recession in the housing sector here in Australia next year? Remember, we had, we had the uh, building approvals shoot up. And you can see here the home builder spike, and it's starting to fall back down. Home constructions fall in the U.S. This combination is creating a perfect storm of lower-than-expected demand coupled with higher-than-expected input costs, which is putting significant pressure on our current and future financial returns, the letter said. The Australian... She found a bolt for fixing... Steel. I got everything on my desk. The Australian job cuts 
which started this month, are believed to be at James Hardy's corporate office in Sydney, its Rose Hill manufacturing plant in Western Sydney, and Carroll Park manufacturing plant in South Brisbane. They are understood to include marketing roles as well as logistics and possibly manufacturing roles. New James Hardy Chief Executive Aaron Erta downgraded uh, full-year profits by about 10% in November, citing a sharp downturn in new home construction in its main market of North America, a housing recession in Europe, and a slowdown in Australia. Mr. Eater, who has only been in the job since the 2nd of September last month, conceded the company had been surprised by the speed of the drop-off in new home construction in the U.S., which was reducing demand for its wall cladding and plasterboard. James Hardy's shares have halved in value over the past 12 months to trade at 27.27 a share on Wednesday. The company said in November it expected full-year adjusted net income to be between 650 US million and 710, down from a previous forecast of 7.30 and 7.80. It was the second downgrade within months after James Hardy cut its full-year forecast in mid-August. Mr. Eater was brought in to run James Hardy after former CEO Jack Throng was dumped over bullying allegations. The new CEO previously ran PLZ Corp, a manufacturer of aerosols and specialty liquids, before that was a senior executive with paint maker Sherwin-Williams. James Hardy also has a new chairwoman, Anne Lloyd, who was previously deputy chairwoman. So there we go, everyone. James Hardy cutting hundreds of jobs. Let's have a talk about this one. (sighs) Yes, that's what you think. I mean, it's it's going to be sad for some people losing their jobs just before Christmas. It's going to really, really dampen your New Year's period. But you've got to remember what's important and you've got to prepare for it. That's the sad reality of it. Next year is certainly going to be an interesting year, guys. And you've got to remember what's really important. Like this little one, hey? Hey? Okay, she doesn't care anymore. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Check out my other channels, Heiser Bim and Heiser Says International. And if you want to support us, there are a few ways you can. You can financially support us on YouTube or Patreon. Hang on. There we go. Use our referral links via Pocket Squares or call us if you need an architect. Ah, say goodbye, Valley. Say goodbye. And... Uh, hey, no, you said bye-bye, not hello. Bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye? She says hello. That's her word. Take care, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. Oh, great. She's pressing things on the computer. Fantastic. I'm going to put it down. Bye, everyone. <laughs>